Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times, I like to give my two cents as to what's going on with autism in the media. And finally, I like to cover topics that I am passionate about. And tonight, I would like to talk about my experiences and encounters of um, introducing myself to Dr. Temple Grandin. Now, for those of you who do not know, Temple Grandin is um, high-functioning autistic, and uh, she is a spokesperson for the autism community, next to being a professor at uh, Colorado State University in Fort Collins, Colorado. And then she is, is also an animal scientist, and she ha was uh, brilliant enough to invent the cattle chute while she was uh, going in grad school. And... Uh, I wanted to say, too, that um, I had seen Temple Grandin two other times. I saw her at the CDC in 2008 during Autism Awareness Month, which was April. And then I ended up uh, seeing Temple Grandin uh, last summer when she came to Atlanta. And uh, she was at a, a big church in Decatur where she did her speech. And both times I was so eager I had to ask her questions. So, anyway... Um, I ended up seeing Temple Grand in two extra days in a row, and I tell you, it was a real treat to listen to her. And uh, I came up with a little nickname for her. Well, Temple Grandin, since you and I are following each other on Twitter, I am going to call you the Yoda of the autism community because you remind me of a Yoda or a Doc or a Obi Wan Kenobi or even um, a female version of Mr. Spock. So. Anyway, I uh, would like to uh, mention my experiences, what it was like to actually meet Temple this time. And uh, again, I work at Georgia State University now on campus, and so I get to participate in a lot of really interesting things. And I found out at the last minute that Temple Grandin was going to be on campus on uh, Veterans Day 2014. So myself and another one of my coworkers who I happened to work with um, uh, ventured down to um, the main auditorium, or not our auditorium, but one of the main ballrooms uh, where she was giving her speech. And then they had a book signing and dessert reception afterwards. And so we both of us listened to her together and um, I asked her how I think. And so I told... I told her that I told her, you know, about the situation with the fireworks. Where if I see a firework, um, I can hear a sound. I mean, I can associate the sound and the picture with the noise with the with the word spark. And if I see another firework, uh, my thing is I'll say it'll be again. The, I'll hear the noise. I'll hear the noise and see the sound, and it'll be spark. So. I basically I brought that up with her, and then she told me to uh, think in my mind um, what you know what I think you know what I uh, what I see in my mind when she said the word steeple, and I told her that um, I thought of my church, and she said that's really common for people who are visuals, and she asked me if I was uh, good great in algebra, and I said I am, and she said you either love it or hate it, and I said I love it, so. And then later on, we ended up, uh, I was able to uh, get um, one of her books signed. And right, I, right now, I own her book, Thinking in Pictures. So I got that signed, and I was able to ask to shake her hand, and she was pretty cool about that. And then another girl who I know that also lives on the spectrum with me, uh, and I got our pictures together. And so we were trying to make her comfortable because I know she likes Star Trek and it was the inappropriate time. I asked her, who's her favorite character? And she goes, okay. So Brittany Daniels and I decided to get our pictures with Temple. And we uh, did the V signs. And then we looked at the pictures afterwards. And she was as um, emotional as Mr. Spock. <laughs> so, and then um, I was able to also give her uh, my business card since I'm working with the Autism Plan of Georgia. And she wanted to know what I want to do with my life. And so I told her... But I wanted to go in every little detail, and she goes, yeah, I don't have time for that jargon, and the rest of that stuff is bullshit. So what do you want to do? Being who I am, I, I have trouble communicating with people who I really like and respect, and so I happened to shut down, and um, I said, 
a temple. I don't know what to say. Um, I'm just Maya Sundermeyer, your temple grandin. I mean, that's how nervous I was. I mean, I know she's not a goddess, but I was intimidated. But And then she told me that um, it was okay to be nervous and that she went on to talk about um, how she had gone through um, a lot in her life. And uh, then she mentioned that uh, she'd been... The first time she tried to give a speech um, at her university, um, she ran out because uh, she was at stage fright and it caused her to have a panic attack. And so she told me to do things um, little by little or basically take baby, step, baby steps. And then I ended up seeing her up in North Atlanta on the 12th through a uh, mini conference. And um, I feel like um, I got more out of that conference uh, from Temple because she just had more to say because she had um, a little bit more time. And then um, that time I uh, didn't, um, I didn't go into every little detail in my questions. I asked her a direct one about, is it okay to tell people, to tell an, a potential employer during an interview that you're autistic? And she said never to do that, that it's better to um, create a job portfolio and put it into my phone. And um, each uh, slide is supposed to be about 30 seconds long about um, what types of projects I'd worked on uh, down through the years and um, what types of skills I'm good at. So um, I am definitely going to take that advice. And um, I just, um, I really admire Dr. Temple Grandin. I mean, she's uh, becoming one of my new idols. I mean, I really look up to her. And I um, really, I think she's funny and unique. And, you know, what I like about her is that I can relate to her because um, she and I um, have some things in common because both of us know what it's like to live on the spectrum in our own ways. So... If any of you have met Dr. Temple Grandin, be sure to comment below. If you guys like what you see, please be sure to subscribe below. And so, until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I'm signing off now. Good night.